trouble in paradise? The uncertain future of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship. In the ever-evolving and captivating world of royal drama, the spotlight has once again turned to the tumultuous relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Rumors have been swirling about the state of their union, and the latest developments suggest that the couple's California dream may have crumbled, leading to a surprising turn of events. But before we continue, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates. It all began with reports of growing tensions between the two, stemming from their vastly different lifestyles and aspirations. While Meghan, the former actress, seemed to have embraced the Hollywood scene and pursued her own career ambitions, Prince Harry, the younger son of the British monarchy, reportedly struggled to adapt to the California way of life. Sources close to the couple have alleged that the pair have been engaged in a series of heated arguments, primarily centered around their living situation in the affluent enclave of Montecito. Meghan, it seems, was enamored with the idea of a glamorous and high-profile existence, while Harry yearned for a more low-key and private life, reminiscent of his upbringing in the UK. The tensions reached a boiling point, as per the reports, when Harry was spotted at the airport, seemingly bidding an emotional farewell to Meghan before boarding a flight back to the United Kingdom. Witnesses claimed to have seen the prince in tears, as if he were leaving behind a life that had become increasingly untenable. The speculations surrounding Harry's abrupt return to his homeland have only fueled the rumor mill further. Some suggest that the prince has made the decision to permanently return to the UK, effectively abandoning his California dream and the life he had built with Meghan. The implications of such a move would be profound, not only for the couple's personal relationship, but also for the royal family's dynamic. It's truly a heartbreaking situation, remarked royal commentator Penelope Winters. Harry and Meghan were once the golden couple, the embodiment of a modern, progressive royal union. But it seems that the pressures of their new life, the clash of their aspirations, and the strain of being in the public I have taken a devastating toll on their relationship. The reports of Harry's emotional farewell at the airport have only added to the sense of tragedy surrounding the couple's apparent split. The image of Harry in tears as he said goodbye to Meghan is truly gut-wrenching, Winters continued. It's a stark reminder that even those in the highest echelons of society are not immune to the pain of relationship troubles. As the world watches with bated breath, the question on everyone's mind is, what will become of Harry and Meghan's once celebrated union? Will they find a way to reconcile their differences and salvage their relationship, or is this the beginning of the end for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? One could argue that the couple's move to California was a bold and ambitious attempt to forge their own path, free from the constraints of the royal family. However, the reported tensions and Harry's apparent decision to return to the UK suggest that the transition may not have been as smooth as they had hoped. It's a classic case of the grass not always being greener on the other side, mused royal historian Dr. Evelyn Thornton. Harry and Meghan were seeking a new life, a fresh start, but it seems that the challenges they faced in California may have been too much to bear. The implications of Harry's potential permanent return to the UK are far-reaching. Not only would it signify the end of the couple's joint life in America, but it could also have profound consequences for the royal family's future. Harry's decision to step back from his royal duties and forge his own path was seen by many as a bold and progressive move, but his apparent retreat could be viewed as a disappointing reversal. If Harry does indeed choose to remain in the UK, it would be a significant blow to the image of the royal family as a modern and adaptable institution, Thornton explained. It would raise questions about the viability of the Sussex's vision for a more independent and progressive royal role, and could potentially strain their relationship with the rest of the family. Of course, it's important to note that these are all speculations based on the limited information available. The true nature of Harry and Meghan's relationship and their plans for the future remain largely unknown to the public. It's possible that the media reports have exaggerated the reality of the situation, and that the couple is still committed to their shared dreams and aspirations. We must be cautious about jumping to conclusions, urged royal commentator Lily Harrington. Harry and Meghan have always been fiercely protective of their privacy, and it's entirely possible that they are working through their challenges behind closed doors, away from the prying eyes of the media. Regardless of the outcome, the ongoing saga of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has captivated the public's imagination. Their journey, from the glamour and pageantry of their royal wedding to the uncertainty and turmoil they now face, 
has become a modern-day Shakespearean drama with all the elements of love, ambition, and the ever-present specter of tragedy. As the world awaits the next chapter in this unfolding story, one thing is certain. The future of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship will continue to be a subject of intense fascination and speculation. Whether they can find a way to reconcile their differences and forge a new path forward, or if their California dream has truly come to an end, remains to be seen.